Hello guys, welcome back to iTechnology Reviews. So we listened to your advices, we heard your comments and uh, we will do another video with the 4K TV of 55 inch, the secret menu. This video will be interesting and we'll need to create another community like we did in that 1 million views video which we bring to you an uh, exclusive idea in our uh, video which we decoded or uh, help you guys to unblock that uh, hidden feature which Samsung in our days does not block it anymore. Uh, how to connect your Bluetooth uh, headphones to your TV without any dongle and we got thousand and thousand I think six thousand likes for that video and above uh, one million views I want to tell you another interesting uh, thing we brought on YouTube another idea which uh, you can stream or screen mirror your TV screen to your phone watch that video it's very interesting for example if you are in the living room and you want in the kitchen to watch the tv you can stream on uh, this new 4k tvs from the tv to the phone it's not screen mirroring that old idea to from the phone to the tv it's from the tv screen to the phone so watch that idea and i want to make a short notice we have another video of uh, harman kardon go play it's uh testing with the studio mic it's a premium best speaker that i ever reviewed it is in uh, 2018 the best bluetooth speaker hi-fi speaker on the market Guys, I want to ask you something. Please be careful. I'm repeating a million times in the secret menu because you can change an option very easy without notice uh, that uh, changing of the options. So please be careful. Take it easy. Do not skip this uh, video or other video which is important. So guys, in our TV we have a smart remote control with voice. This remote control you cannot turn on the secret menu. So the way to do this, find a way to find a normal remote control with buttons. And you have two combinations. Uh, one combination is to press info, menu, mute and power. Pointed to the TV. And uh, while it's an important aspect while that your TV it's off so we will turn it off and we will press info menu mood and power one and press it quickly for this option to work guys please leave your TV I don't know one minute or two minutes the smart TV I'm talking about and press info menu mood and the power on button you will see and is necessary that the Samsung logo appear if your TV starts up without this uh, the Samsung logo you will not get in the secret men menu so the trick is to leave your TV one minute or two minutes and to use a normal with buttons uh, remote control so now guys in the option we have the factory reset and be careful i don't think this feature will uh, reset your whole uh, like this code this type and uh, model code and i don't think factory reset will reset and restore what uh, changes you made to the tv so this is why i'm saying be careful about these changes um, some users we discovered that uh, in our previous videos this code will flip your image if for example if I will select and look how many codes there are here if I will select another code with a simple changing of a letter or a digit it will flip my image or it will do other stuff I don't know exactly what it will do so be careful let's go in the mrt option and here if you see samsung made um, all these uh, features unite together and here we can find uh, that damn bluetooth uh, option uh, that was uh, 
blocked by Samsung in their previous videos. So guys, be careful updating your TVs. Why I'm saying this is because I had a full HD TV and I updated and uh, from full HD on YouTube quality, I get only HD. So uh, Samsung made a downgrade. I will comment and I will make a video of, uh, in the future because producer will give and will uh, downgrade or it will send you bugs in the updates to buy yourself another uh, a new product from uh, them. It's a sad reality but um, it is you will find these problems and I have proofs in uh, software programs for example in Power DVD I will have a clear example making a simple update it will ruin your software this TV has uh, teletext who I don't know who uses teletext uh, anymore you can uh, I'm looking forward in the TVs guys to make the 4k 3d if will the, the manufacturers I keep saying producers I don't know why if manufacturers will uh, will make 3D in 4K because 4K HDR it's looking already awesome and I don't think you'll need the 3D but imagine yourself 4K HDR and 3D it will be amazing awesome okay we have a light effect I don't know what this feature will do I think uh, Let's see, it's only on and off. I will leave it on uh, to see what light effect means. You can put to this TV, for example, I saw uh, somewhere a camera. I don't think it's in this menu, but we'll get to that. We have the echo sensor. Every Samsung TV has an echo sensor. This Bluetooth support is on. We have a Bluetooth address. You can connect yourself a keyboard with Bluetooth. You can listen to music to the with your uh, Bluetooth headphones already unblocked. The resolution is UHD. Let's see. We have eight. <laughs> uh, Okay, you hash the but the display is not ready. The software, if you see, it's ready. 8K ready. You have to change it to change that uh, that feature. I'm not going to change it from now. Um, let's see. The voice recognition it's only possible with the smart remote control. Uh, MBR support. We have the Samsung Smart View. All the Samsung 4K TVs comes with a smart with a smart hub. Now we have the smart control, smart view. That it's an application on the phones. You will find it, download it, and with that application you can stream your TV to your phone, not your phone to the TV. The whole stuff. It's a new stuff. It's a new feature. Uh, you can stream your screen of the TV to your phone like I said in the previous beginning of this review uh, we have uh, always instant on support I think this is um, that uh, standby mod that the TV uses to power on instantly we have the motion plus this is that hertz that you will use to 200 400 600 1000 hertz that will smooth up your image sound mirroring this is interesting because uh, i can uh, stream from the tv only the sound to my tv let's see i will, i think i will put it to on I don't want to make a lot of changes because I want to remember what changes I made in case something goes wrong to change it back. Um, I don't like in these TVs that I don't have jack. What the hell is the manufacturer's problem to leave off the production of the jack? It's a simple connection that all uh, users uh, like and use they made two jacks for uh, AV input who the hell uh, it's uh, still using uh, audio video input all users use HDMI inputs in our days I, I think it's a hilarious thing uh, a 4k TV and with audio video input <laughs> you know audio video input has uh, 720 by 
576 I think resolution so <laughs> from 4k to that resolution it's a big uh, colossal difference okay furthermore we have a uh, 316 audio support this TV can make to the videos that you will play some kind of 360 support so this feature 316 VR support will uh, stream your phone application to to your TV let's continue guys in the production options we have uh, new TV camera we can put a special camera Samsung 3D you see the menu it's ready for 3D I'm looking forward to see 4k 3d TVs I'm looking forward for this and here we have the screen mirroring the 4k we can select 2k or 4k to stream to the TV it's best if you have a 1 gigabit router and not necessarily I think a minimum 300 megabytes router in Wi-Fi will do the job and stream to your TV 4k content from your phone what attract my attention is that uh, we have a word there included TV camera included but I don't see any camera to my TV. I will leave it on just to see what in the menu will change. So we have a lot of features, blur reduction, for example. We have uh, an auto power, we can put always on, last power, all, always off, I think. Yes, always off, I will go uh, leave to the last power remembered. And uh, here's a... Uh, something show power one with mobile i don't know what this is i'm not going to i made three three changes already and i don't want uh, to make more changes so now furthermore guys we have the led standby led we can uh, click it uh, to off we can change it to off um let's see here we have the bt audio on off and it's on that is the function for connecting your headphones or uh, wireless bluetooth speakers okay um, you can connect with your samsung phones it's not necessarily the headphones for your tv to to connect with your tv's bluetooth you can connect speakers bluetooth speakers and all kinds of bluetooth uh, devices in this cpu threshold i think there are limitations to the cpu power limitation to one minute to 95 percent and three minutes to 90. Uh, i'm curious if i will put 100 percent if uh, the cpu will uh, get a faster speed but i think uh, if it will get a faster speed response it will hit up so i'm gonna leave it like the manufacturers intended and i want to see what options i have in the menu in the sound let's see in the sound i don't think it will be but uh, all are the same yeah sound mirroring we have a new option sound mirroring so what is this share your mobile device sound using your tv speakers so guys the trick is the next one in the phone if you will have the samsung for example the samsung 6 series in uh, 55 inches in my example um, go at options and unpair it and then you will find in the available devices in the available devices put your tv pair it and we it will make uh, the pairing with your tv and this is what it will appear when i for example i'm playing hazard from richard marx and let's see let's yeah it's working and i can play for example if you have a tv with subwoofer and the big speakers you can play directly to your tv it's an interesting function um let's see what is this uh, and next you can play it directly from the remote control to skip i'm referring to skip the track you have the picture of off, off and uh the exit another function that we unlocked guys 
and I want to show you is uh, let's see in the menu in the general it's in the external the general devices no I think it's in the system manager yes we have the light effect and we have enable light effect to illuminate the front of the TV and I will put it to always I think this light effect is uh, for the TVs who have light in the logo Samsung for those users who have um, the Samsung logo in 3D if you don't have this function you can go and uh, unblock this feature and uh, put the lighting effect when you power on or always in the TV if you see it has that example that will illuminate that logo always or when you have the power on uh, function my TV doesn't have a LED in the Samsung logo so uh, the third feature that I unblock is the camera that is included but what camera is in this TV I don't see a camera maybe so little I didn't see it I uh, skip it so guys if you are see a picture or a camera I will uh, get back at you so thank you for viewing guys and uh, subscribe that button and thumbs up for this video support us guys guys I hope you like this review uh, I hope you will make a good community for uh, the secret menu and adding a lot of uh, features and uh, why not I'm blocking something uh, that is interesting be careful what you are doing I'm repeating myself because it's very easy to change an, op an option on our uh, secret menu without notice it so guys please support us on the video thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos we'll publish every Friday for a lot of electronics so thumbs up for us guys have a great day see you bye